chiquititos, hoy vamos a revisar, we're gonna revisar, we're gonna review again, or go back over los DOPs. Vamos a repasar los DOPs from el año pasado, del año pasado. Okay, DOPs are our direct object pronouns, our direct object pronouns, and this is section 5.4, 5.4 in the Descubre Uno book. So, if you do not know your DOPs, you have two options to get yourself caught up. Number one, you could go to my YouTube channel and look under chapter 5, under section 5.4, there are three YouTube videos that teach you DOPs. There's a part 1 and a part 2, both of which have practice at the end of the videos, and then the part 3 teaches you DOPs with infinitive constructions. Okay? And then you also, what's the other resource you have for DOPs? If you don't have a book, which we don't have books in Spanish too, what else could you go to? Homework Center. Homework Center, I'll be in Homework Center. You could also go to VHL. Central and click on the tutorials tab to watch the egghead, right? Just like they taught us saber and conocer, you could watch the egghead for DOPs, okay? Um, so direct object pronouns, they take the place of a what? A direct object pronoun is going to take the place of a direct object. object, a direct object, okay? And all direct objects in Spanish answer the questions either who or what in a sentence, okay? Who or what? Um, when you answer, these are the direct object pronouns right here. We have repite me, 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 me. me. Te. te, lo, lo. lo. La. la, nos, nos. Os. Os. os, los, los. and las. las. Okay, you're going to see these verbs uh, when, or you're going to see these pronouns with verbs like to help. Okay, I help you. Who do I help? You. you. Okay. For right now, we're not going to focus on the who's too much. We'll focus on the who's more next week. Right now, we're going to focus on the what's. Because this is what we're going to need to play our game, ir de compras, go shopping. Instead of go fish, we're playing go shopping. Okay. Now, when we're answering the question what, you only have two options. Okay. I have the markers. What do I have? Them. The markers. Would I say I have lo, la, los, or las? Which one would I use to replace the markers? Los. los, why did you pick los? los. Multiple. There's multiple, okay, so singular and plural. He immediately was able to eliminate both of these. Now he's got it narrowed down 50-50 right here. I'm a girl and I have the marker, so I should pick los? Mm -hmm. What is it? Los, why? Because it's los marcadores. What if I tell you I have a marker? I have it in my hand. What would, you re what would you replace El Marcador with? Lo. Lo. Very good. Lo. I have las llaves. I have las llaves. I have them hanging around my neck. What am I going to replace to make them? Las. las llaves. It would be las, right? Okay. So let's do a few examples, okay, from our game that we're going to be playing. Okay. Uh, ir de compras is what? ¿Qué significa? To go shopping. To go shopping. Muy bien. So we're going to play go shopping, and it's going to be just like go fish, except for it's go shopping. So how do you ask your partner, uh, do you have a, um, I need something good. Do you have a belt? Do you have a belt? I want you to write out the question in your notes. Do you have a belt? Yes? What? Do you have a belt? ¿Cómo se dice? No, no lo tengo, pero ¿cómo se dice? Uh, give this. Mm -hmm. uh, un, uh, cinturón. Cinturón. Muy bien. ¿Tienes un cinturón? And if you wanted to have your personal pronoun in here, it would go right here. Because personal pronouns go after the verb in a question, right? ¿Tienes tú un cinturón? Okay. Now, we need to go through a few steps first to find out what our direct object is. So how do you find the direct object? What's step number one when you're trying to figure out which part of the sentence is uh, the direct object? Um, it's a noun. Okay, you know it's going to be a noun. Good. Okay, he's, he's, he's uh, limiting down his choices. Okay, he knows it's going to be a noun. First thing that we're going to do to find the DOP, to find the direct object, excuse me, of a sentence, you're going to find and underline the verb. So what is our conjugated verb in this sentence? Tienes. Okay, first you underline your conjugated verb, or underline your verbs. 
Okay, then you ask the question, who or what? So you go back to your verb and you say, you and formal have who? Can you say, it? is it a who for this question? No. no. Can you ever have a person? No. no. Okay, you and formal have who? No, nope. we know it's not who, so we know it's not going to be any of those. You and formal have what? What do you have? A belt. A belt. Un cinturón. You're going to box it. This is your direct object. This is your direct object. Now, later when we replace this direct object, later when we replace this direct object, what direct object pronoun are we going to replace it with? What direct object pronoun are we going to replace it with? Huh? Low. Low? How did you get to low? Because... Um, there's only one belt. Okay, there's one belt, so immediately you could narrow it down to? The men's, and then it's also masculine. And then it's masculine, so you picked low, right? Right. Because I could say, I have a belt, or I could say, I have it. And it's the same thing. Yes? Okay. Tu tienes un cinturón. I want you to tell me, yes, I have it. Yes, I have it. Don't tell me if, tell me yes. Okay. Si yo tengo. Si yo tengo. And what is my conjugated verb, Delaney? No. Oh, no, conjugated verb. Uh, yep, is tango. Muy bien. I have. And then we ask the question, what do I have or who do I have? What? It's what. What do I have and what's our answer? It. it. It and it is referring to the belt. So what? What personal low. front or what? Low. low. Thank you. I was losing it here. Si yo lo tengo. Si yo lo tengo. How do you tell me I don't have it? I don't have it. No, no yo no lo tengo. Okay, write it down. I want to see if your answer matches mine. Don't cheat. Y'all have it. Polos, you're super sure of your answer? No, yo no tengo. I don't have. What do I not have? It. 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 Low. And for our DOPs, DOP, DOP, you can put it. Before the conjugated. Oh, that was kind of lame. DOP, DOP, you can put it. Before the conjugated verb. Okay, here's our conjugated verb, so it goes directly before it. We like it, yes? What would it mean if you forgot the second no? Do you have the belt? No, yo lo tengo. No, I do have it. You're yeah. telling me, no, I have it. Are they going to know what you're trying to say to them? Mm -mm. People are not going to understand you. No, yo, no lo tengo. Okay. Otra, let's do, let, can we try another one? Otra? Okay. Um, and you can do this one on your whiteboards if you'd like to. Uh, do you have the flip flops? Oh, no, how about, yeah, do you have the flip flops? Do you have the flip flops? Oh, sí, 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 Do you have, and remember to write big, I'm kind of blind, por favor. Do you have the, what did I say, flip flops? Yeah. Las? Chanclas. Chanclas, muy bien. Tienes? Las or los chanclas? Muy bien. Tienes las chanclas. Don't erase. Underline your conjugated verb, por favor. And ask yourself, what do you have or who do you have? What do you have? And box. Nice. And then tell me, I don't have them. I don't have them. I don't have them. Nice job. I don't have them. Oh, you have them. Nice job. You're on the right track. I like it. Perfecto. Puedo? Okay, listos? Are we ready to check them? See, ¿Sí? listos? Sí. Okay, we have 
Repite todos. ¿Tienes? Yes. Two. 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 Las chanclas. What's your direct object? Chanclas. What is the question it's answering? What do you have? What do you have? Because your answer is las chanclas, right? And then your answer is no, I do not have them. No, yo no las tengo. Perfecto. No, yo no las tengo. Otro? Are we getting the idea of this? What, what I'm looking for here? Okay. Uh, do you have uh, the socks? Do you have the socks? Do you have the socks? Do you have the socks? How do you say, do you have the socks? Vamos, vamos. Ba, 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 ba. Los. Oh, because that's a four syllable one, too, huh? Repite todos. Cal. Se. Se. Ti. Ti. Nes. Repite todos. Cal. Se. Ti. Nes. Calcetines. Oh, that was so sad. Calcetines. Calcetines. Ah, sí, muy bien. Muy bien. Tienes two. Is it los or las? Los calcetines. Los calcetines. Tienes two los calcetines. And it's going to be a C-E. Tienes. Calcetines. Tell me, yes, I have them. Tell me, yes, I have them in my backpack. Yes, I have them. In my backpack. Yes, I have them. Nice, hombre. Perfecto. Tienes los calcetines? Sí. Did you say yes or did you say if I have my socks? Ah, you said yes. Sí. Yo los tengo en mi mochila. Yo los tengo en mi mochila. Yo los tengo en mi mochila. Muy bien. Okay, next one. I gotta think of a really hard one. Oh, I got a really good one. Okay, are you ready for this? Do you have the hat? The hat and the skirt. Do you have the hat and the skirt? And for the hat, I don't want you to use la gorra. I want you to use the other one. Do you have the hat and the skirt? Do you have the hat and the skirt? So tienes two. ¿Cómo se dice the hat, Justin? Uh, el sombrero. El sombrero. Tienes tú el sombrero. Y... La falda. La falda. Now, conjugated verb is tienes. We ask ourselves, who do, who do you have or what do you have? So we say, what do you have? What's your answer? El sombrero. El sombrero, el sombrero and... La falda. La falda. Now you have two direct objects. And one of your direct objects is feminine and one of your direct objects is masculine. What do you do? Los. Los. You default to the? Masculine. Masculine. And so the direct object you're going to pick is? Los. 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 It is los. Okay? So, si yo los tengo or no, yo no los tengo. Hay preguntas? Are there questions? Sí or no? No? Todo bien? Okay, adiós.